Well, take a look at that mugshot. The billionaire co-founder of a tech company is arrested on drug charges in Las Vegas. Yeah, but that barely scratches the surface of this story. Cake on Ice Tom Waite is live in the newsroom right now with more on this interesting arrest, huh? And Jeff and Susie, some folks may recognize this guy, even that weird mugshot. His name is Henry Nicholas. He's the billionaire co-founder of Broadcom and lives in Orange County. Now he's facing some serious drug charges. Billionaire Henry Nichols appears dazed in his unflattering booking photo, eyes mostly shut and hair disheveled. He was arrested at the Encore Las Vegas with Ashley Fargo, reportedly the ex-wife of the Wells Fargo heir. TMZ reports police were called to the Encore when Nicholas could not get into his room. Fargo, seen here posing for Instagram photos shortly before she was arrested, was found inside the room unconscious with a semi-deflated balloon in her her mouth. She was later revived and posted this video after she was released. Police tell us they found heroin, cocaine, meth, and ecstasy in the room the two were sharing. They're now facing trafficking charges. It sounds like his biggest crime is being an addict. Attorney and legal analyst Alex Kazarian says it's likely Nicholas did not intend to traffic drugs, but his intent may not matter. He's a billionaire. He's not a person that's trying to make money off of drugs. He's a person that's trying to make friends off of drugs. Unfortunately, the way the laws are written, if you're giving away drugs or if you're selling drugs, you're trafficking. Providing leading edge solutions. The Nicholas is the co-founder of tech giant Broadcom, a semiconductor company that makes chips that power iPhones and other devices. Nicholas lives in Orange County. His arrest is not his first brush with the law. According to court documents from 2007, defendant Nicholas spiked the drinks of others with MDMA ecstasy without their knowledge, including without limitation, the drinks of technology executives and representatives. And also back in 2007, Nicholas was accused of smoking so much pot on a private jet, the pilot had to wear a mask. All of those 2007 charges were dropped. His new attorney says they're looking at the charges now and preparing their defense. Nicholas and Fargo are both out of jail tonight. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.